Hi there, welcome to my channel. It's always a delight to talk to you. Today we're going to be talking about one of those very hot topics, but we still have to talk about it because it's part of our lives. I'm talking about breakups. You see, there's no better way to put it. Breakups suck. Going through a breakup can be one of the most difficult times of your life because in that moment, nothing else matters. I mean, you have spent a huge part of your life with this person, creating memories, having fun, and sharing all those intimate details together. And then suddenly, they're no longer here with you. And then you begin to imagine what life would be without them. Where do you move from here? What do you do? You can't even think of a life without them because you've gotten so used to them. It's crazy. It really is, I tell you. But guess what? You are not alone, okay? A lot of people are going through the same phase and a lot of people have gone through it already. And today, they are doing very well. So no matter what you're feeling right now, I am telling you that it will get better. I am here to bring some light at the end of the tunnel. That's why today I will be sharing with you how to get over a breakup. It's not going to be easy, but I can assure you that if you pay attention to what I'm about to say, you will come out of this victoriously. You will be fine. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and do so and turn on the notification so that you will get all of my latest videos. Number one on my list is talk to people about it. Perhaps you haven't realized it yet. You just experienced a breakup. It's a big deal. So don't listen to anybody trying to tell you that it's not a big deal. Don't listen to anybody trying to tell you to man up, to act like a big girl, to handle it with, with grace and class. No, there's nothing classy about a breakup. There's nothing classy about hurting on the inside. This is the time for you to vent. Talk to people about how you're feeling. You're hurting. Don't bottle it up inside. Express the hurt. Let it out. Hold on to your friends and family. Let them know how you feel. Let them know the things that hurt you the most. If you feel like you played a role in the breakup, tell them about it. I know that nothing you say or do right now will bring back the relationship, but just having the opportunity to vent and pour your heart out to someone who understands what you're feeling will help you feel better. Talk to anybody who cares to listen, really. It doesn't matter because you have so much you want to say, so much you want to get off your chest. Get it off, get it off as much as you can. And by doing that, you will feel lighter on the inside. Open up. The more you open up, the better and liberated you will feel. Number two, cut off all contact with your ex. I know that might sound like a harsh thing to say, but trust me, you need that. This is not the time for you to act all kind and nice. You are hurting. You come first. Your feelings matter. You've been shattered. You've been abandoned. You're all you have right now and you need to look out for yourself first. If cutting off all contact with your ex will make you feel better, why shouldn't you do it? Constantly seeing them, constantly seeing their posts on social media, their WhatsApp status will only do one thing to you. It will bring back those memories. And those memories, which you no longer have, which you can no longer bring back, will only hurt you right now. You don't want to know anything about them, at least for now. You don't even want to know if they're in existence. You need to protect your space, protect your mind, protect your head. Go on social media, block them if you have to. Oh yes, you need to block them. Someone has to be blocked because you don't want to see anything about them. And if they try to get in contact with you through any other means, the moment you find out, you know what to do. What do you do? 
you block them. This is not the time to talk about anything. All right, you need to protect your space, protect your mind and your soul. No communication, no nothing, at least for now. Number three, reclaim your self-esteem. So here's the thing, after a breakup, there's a tendency for you to start feeling inadequate. You begin to feel that you were the reason why the relationship ended. You were the reason why your partner broke up with you. You begin to feel that you're not good enough because if you were, they wouldn't have broken up with you. Newsflash, you are good enough, okay? They just couldn't see it. You are the best of your kind. You're the best man or woman there is. And I tell you what, if they broke up with you, it's because they never deserved you in the first place. You need to realize that you are what you think that you are. If you dwell on this mindset that you're not good enough, you will hardly move on because it, was, it will always be in your head. It will always keep ringing in your head that you're not good enough, that you will never find someone as good as your ex, let alone better. So to truly believe that you're good enough, perhaps you need to make a list. Make a list of all the wonderful traits about yourself. Make positive affirmations. I am beautiful. I am kind. I am good. And you need to say these things to yourself every day, all the time. Because the more you dwell on the fact that you were not good enough for your ex, you remain a slave to them and a slave to that relationship. That relationship is over. So you don't have to hold on to it. You don't have to keep wishing that you could have done better, that you could have saved it. Perhaps it was never worth saving because if it were, it would have been saved. You did the best that you could. You played your part, but in the end, life happened. So it is not you, it's not your fault. Stop taking the blame. Reclaim your self-esteem, all right? You are good enough. And very soon you will find someone who will realize that. Someone who will treat you as the special person that you are. Okay? Number four, try new things. Going through a breakup can be one of the darkest moments of your life. And having fun is probably the last thing you're thinking about. But the idea is to move on, to get over the breakup. So you need to make effort, okay? You need to try out new things. You spent the last few years of your life or the last few months of your life with your ex. You built your world around them. Always going out with them and doing stuff with them. Now that they're no longer in your life, it's time for you to try other things, other things without them. So where are those places that you would love to visit? What are those things that you would love to do? You probably wanted to do all those things before, but you just couldn't because there was someone else in the picture. Now is the time to go all out and do them. You want to create a distraction, a good distraction, all right, that doesn't involve your ex. You want to get your mind off your ex and trying out new things is a good way to do that. And in trying out new things, you will create new experiences for yourself. Experiences that will remain with you for a lifetime. This is the time for you to bond with your friends. There's a reason why we all have friends in our lives. Friends who will be there for us in the most difficult times. This is one of those difficult times. So get in touch with your friends. Make plans to go out, go on that vacation, visit that cool place, and just have fun together. No relationships, nobody in the picture telling you what to do and what not to do. This is about you. This is about you having fun and just trying to be okay. It's about creating new adventures. It's about going all out. 
It's about doing those things that make you come alive. Those things that get your heartbeat all pumped up. Yes, once upon a time, you couldn't do all those things without your ex. But guess what? They are in the past now. And you are what you have right now. So go ahead and create your own fun. We're still talking about how to get over a breakup. Number five on my list is be open to the idea of finding love again. For many people, a breakup is the end to ever finding love again. And I get it. It's a very difficult situation to be in. Your world is shattered. You feel terrible, so terrible. And you begin to feel like if you had never believed in the idea of love in the first place, you probably wouldn't have gotten yourself into this mess. But if you must move on from this, I tell you, you have to believe that there is someone better who is out there for you, waiting to find you. So if you don't go out to meet that person, if you're not open to the idea of meeting that person, you might never ever find them. Your ex is not the best there is. So they are not the standard. Definitely not the standard. No matter how great they were, there's definitely someone out there who is better than them. There's someone who can top their game. Someone who can treat you a lot better than they did. And you have to be open to finding that person. It's time for you to let go of the past. It's time for you to give love a chance. And when you do that, I can assure you that you will find someone who will correct every wrong that your ex created. Someone who will change your mindset, change your perception of life, love, and relationship. There's someone out there who will treat you better than your ex ever did. Someone who will treasure you treat you like you're the best thing to ever happen to them. So don't say no to love. Be open to finding love again. And when you do that, it will surely locate you. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Have you subscribed to my channel yet? I hope so. But if you haven't, this is the chance for you to subscribe because I will be making lots of this kind of videos all for you. Remember, you can always find someone better. You can get out of this situation. It might feel like it's not possible right now, but I can assure you that you will give it time. And with time, you'll begin to feel a whole lot better. If you enjoyed watching this video, please go ahead and like it and even drop a comment in the comment section. I will be reading. You can also share the video with your friends and family so that they can get to know about how to get over a breakup.